All right. So, there's no heaven, there's no afterlife. So a person said he claimed he was dead and he's going to tell it to you what it's like to be dead twice. He said for anyone waiting for a heavenly paradise, he says you're out of luck unfortunately. His first death came as a result of a motorcycle accident where he died for two minutes because his body shut down from the pain and physical damages on my body, he said. No pulse, no breathing, and no consciousness. His name is Root, Root Dude from Reddit. His second, he said, was because I was in agonizing pain and after surgery, so I received loads of painkillers. The pain coupled with an immense amount of painkillers caused my pulse to drop to around 10 beats per minute and my respiratory system shut down. On the experience of being dead, he chillingly wrote, it was just black emptiness, no thoughts, no consciousness, nothing. Both times I was just not there. It was just all black. I would describe it as when you take a nap, a short nap with no dream. You wake up and it feels like you've been sleeping a long time, when in reality, it's only been about 15 minutes. Sorry, folks. No heaven, no afterlife. One life. This is as real as it gets. Then we had another person named Emmanuel. He said he even gave it a more bleak account. On the Q&A site, Corba claiming there was no pain, just darkness, extreme vulnerability, extreme fragility, and nothing else. It wasn't even revolting or scary. There's no bright light, and Jesus didn't appear through the fog. Just infinite sadness and nothingness. Also, Terence said the same thing. No bright light. Jesus didn't appear through the fog. Just chilling emptiness. So there you go, folks. No afterlife. No heaven. Like, you know, it seems, as far as we know, the supernatural is never going to be possible. And uh, science is the only way to explain the reality we live and whether we're in the matrix we're trying to get out. It's only science is going to explain it all. So, no heaven, no afterlife, no supernaturalness. And that's that. Sorry about that, folks. So enjoy your life because this is the only one you're getting. Of course, we have companies for science, though. That they actually plan to plan to bring you back with human eye. Sort of sort of like this would be like a human resurrection. Using science and technology. It's very interesting actually. They're gonna put your body into another body. Like a, <laughs> a robotic body. And you can uh, look it up. It's uh it's called Humai. And of course we get other companies, the Bio Lab, which is gonna increase your telomeres and just keep on living. And we got other companies, uh quite a few companies so if you're looking for an eternal life it's going to be through science folks so that's the good news you know and the other good news is um since there's no god there's no heaven no afterlife obviously no hell um the real thing is that uh, we'll, we have to find where the singularity is and possibly is aliens are programmed the universe and as well as programmed us with randomness and non-randomness. And I think that's what it's going to lead to. And uh, maybe we can build warp drives and cruise the cosmos. So, you know, you shouldn't be upset or sad because it's, the real truth is more interesting. You know, alien technology 
and finding the real truth and um, other planets and careers in the cosmos and of course technology with science is going to make us never die, come back to life and uh, live forever and as well as curing the virus disease through Microsoft and um, using nanobots, nanomachines, robots that in your body to repair anytime you are like an alarm system so I think what's going to be obviously the most exciting <clears throat> is to get out of the matrix or um, out of the simulation which uh, scientists are planning on doing <laughs> they plan on breaking us out of the simulation <clears throat> so yeah folks it's, it's nothing supernatural it's a quantum realm it's an alien realm it's a scientific realm so they plan to try to break us out of the matrix or simulation and that's going to be super interesting and how they can do that they actually have a way i probably have to make another video to uh describe that um uh, so unless I can pull up the article, let me see about that. So yeah, so if if religious people are telling you you're going to hell, <laughs> there is none. I just proved it. So don't even worry about that because <laughs> heaven else it's all fake. Um. So yeah, these actually these billionaires. Who would have thought it has to be a billionaire? <laughs> they plan to get us out of this simulation. And it's interesting. Um, let's see if I can pull up the article, what they, what they said exactly. They, they're obviously using some, some weird science to do this. Um, the only thing I wonder is in our lifetime. Um, well, I mean, if these people are... I mean, it, I guess... I don't know what they're going to do, have hack the universe. I mean, after all, there is computer code in the universe, I, I guess. <laughs> Obviously, we can't fly to the whatever the singularity or the, or the ultimate real reality. Kind of like the Matrix, you know, where, remember, everybody, all the humans were plugged in, you know. And that was a real reality, and this is a fake reality. But where that is, is a question where that is, you know. Um... Is that a different universe? So I guess maybe if we can hack the universe, I guess that's what they're going to do. It'll lead us to a roadmap where in the cosmos this uh, the computer simulation is, and then I guess we can stop it um, or modify it. I, I guess that makes the most sense. That, I guess that's what's going to happen. Now, here it is. Um, so I guess we're going to have uh, two concepts. Uh, so simulation... Living in the Matrix. Tech billionaires funding research to get out. But there's one article that actually says what they were going to do. I'm, I'm not sure if this is the one. Uh, that's the tough part. Um, said they were going to use... Let me see. Uh, seems like this is Moore's Laws with the simulation. Um... Uh, I think we can use some kind of strategy. Um, I'm not sure if I see it in this article. It's one of the articles. Uh, let's see. So I guess in a way, they're going to hack the universe. Um, how are they going to do this? Uh, that's very interesting. <laughs> I mean, there is computer code in the universe. So I, it's It must be hackable or something. Um... These billionaires, two tech billionaires, are going to engage with scientists to work on breaking us out of the simulation. So, so pretty much anything is possible. Obviously, with the no god, with science, anything is possible. And um, and if aliens ex exist or whatever they are, they did. Obviously, they use science too. Uh, There's not much information on what, how they're going to do this. It's pretty recent. Uh, I can't find none. It's not in this one that I actually... Is, they're going to use like a... I don't know. Some kind of weird method. Uh, maybe some of this one. Let me see. This is very interesting. So... And this, I think, will lead us to a roadmap. And then we can just... 
We can fucking hack the universe, man. We can get into the universe. I mean, <laughs> this is what scientists and everybody wants to know. This will, and if we can do this, this will explain everything. You know, our thoughts, consciousness, every single thing we could ever think of. Because these aliens like programmed everything in the universe, the way the cells divide, everything. Programmed with non randomness and randomness, virus, disease, you name it, the whole thing. Planets forming uh, something out of nothing. <laughs> Why is there something? This is what's going to tell us everything. How we know everything. How we know anything, you know. Just every single thing. This would be the the biggest thing since finding other plants or aliens. Um so this will like this if if we could do this, this this would um I think kill religion. You know, because this will <laughs> this would prove at least the religious people that uh you know, um, there was no God behind this, just a human beings. Um, let me see what I want to see. Where was it? Uh, I can't find it. Uh, It, what I'm looking for is like, uh, it's like, uh, I don't know, uh, the, the way they were going to do, it's like a computer code they mentioned or something that, uh, let's see, uh, funny, Bank of America actually said this, and actually Nick Bostrom come up with a computer simulation thing, maybe it's this one, I can't find, uh, who would have thought the the movie The Matrix was like reality? You know, that's crazy. Uh, I had always had a feeling the supernatural couldn't exist because even when I was young, you know, people was, like talking about God. I was like, you know, God made lightning storms. I'm like, where is this God? You know, because I mean, I you know, some of you really don't grow up with religion. You think of gods, you think of Zeus and all these gods, you know, like you know, just appear out of the sky with doing crazy powers, you know. Um, and even as a little kid, you know, it just didn't even make sense, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's what I would think a god would be, you know, just you could see and you could do, do powers and lightning or whatever, just. Do have you can just see and do, do crazy stuff, so so yeah. I never even believed the supernatural at a young age either. I mean, I had a feeling it would never be possible. Just you know, it's like fantasy, supernatural, it's like movies, fantasy stuff, and uh. um, Can't find it now. Well, uh, you just have to look into this. Uh... He said something like, "What we're gonna do?" Uh... Let's see. Maybe some this one. Oh, well, I'll just in the video. So it's about to get super interesting. Definitely looking forward to lock the secrets of the universe, hack and modify, whatever. And this will tell us everything. Everything we were ever want to know about us, about Earth, about the planets, about the universe, and even other universes. This will tell us everything. It's like, you know, that 